How's it going, everybody? My name is MDK WLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we're back in Arch Linux. We have a user requested video here from Carnal and Jacob Gaming. He requested a Cinnamon install in Arch. So, we shall do that, good sir. So, Cinnamon is a desktop environment, obviously, if you didn't know that, and it's based off GNOME 2. It's, you know, we have all these pluses already. Uh, GNOME 2, especially, GNOME 2 was a very good desktop environment. There's a couple problems with an Arch, uh, one being that it does not come with a terminal emulator, which is kind of a gigantic problem. Without a terminal emulator in your desktop environment, you're pretty much just locked into a box and not be able to download anything, because especially with a barebones Arch install, you don't have anything, so you need access to your terminal. You can get around it by just disabling it to not load on startup and using Stardex and all that. Blah. I just want to make this simple for you. I don't want to make it overly complicated. So we have that problem, and that's a quick fix. We just download a terminal emulator, and I'll throw a list down in the description on all the different terminal emulators that you can find. Some of them are fancy, where they like have you can split the screen and like in the add-on to Vim, and I just need something that I can go download my stuff, enter, well, sudo download my stuff. So Cinnamon is really easy to install here. Let's get to it. First thing, always when you do an Arch install, Pac-Man, capital S, Y, Y, then S, Y, U. You need to make sure you're fully updated, make sure your mirror list is fully updated, all that wonderful jazz. So to download Cinnamon, we need to do Pac-Man, capital S, Cinnamon. Simple enough, right? Uh, you can choose to download the extra files if you wish to. I'm not going to bother. It's in your full interest if you want to. Personally, I don't need a cinnamon-based notepad. Whatever. Second thing we need is our display manager. Uh, you can pick KDM, Slim, J GDM. The sky's the limit. I'm using LXDM mainly because I know how to use LXDM. There's kind of a problem with Cinnamon and LXDM, and I'll get to that when I get to it, but... So, Pac-Man, tag capital S, LXDM, download that. I'm not downloading it because they're already downloaded. That's why I'm not pressing enter. And then we need to download our terminal emulator. So, I'm going to use the GNOME terminal. Because it would you would figure the GNOME terminal would come with Cinnamon since it's based off of GNOME 2. I guess that kind of makes some makes sense to me at least. And you're going to get an error message saying that there's no display server, which obviously there isn't. So normally I would say uh, do nano tac etc lxdm lxdm.conf if I spell stuff right. And just like in our other video where I showed you how to install lxde or xfce using lxdm we would edit this line, but within Cinnamon we can't because for whatever reason Cinnamon doesn't behave very well with LXDM. I'm sure if I use GDM this wouldn't be a problem, but I don't feel comfortable with GDM. If you guys feel comfortable with GDM, by all means go out and use it with G GDM. But it's not really that big of a problem, and I'll get to that eventually. So we need to tell systemd to enable LXDM to start on startup. So we do system control enable lxdm.service. And I'll set up a symlink. And we all we have to do is reboot. And get through our wonderful menu. And as you can see, the LXDM or LXDE service will start it. And it launches into a very big screen. Alright. Without Windows freaking out here. So, because we weren't able to edit that line in the LXDM.com file, we can't use the default setting that's in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, so, all we have to do is click the drop-down menu and choose cinnamon 
you can choose Cinnamon 2D or Cinnamon Normal. I'm going with 2D because I'm in VirtualBox and I'm also recording with Fraps. That's pretty much the fix. You don't have to worry about it because when you reboot again, it's going to still have Cinnamon 2D as your, like, the default, if you will, with air quotes around it without saying default. It'll automatically default to Cinnamon 2D. I've said default too many times, too close together. Yeah, anyway. So the only user I have is root, and my magical password, that is four characters long. <laughs> and we have cinnamon. A very slow cinnamon. So this is bare bones cinnamon here. It's, it has like nothing to it. I, it. I'm assuming it doesn't have open box or configuration or anything like that because I can't right click on the desktop. But we do have a menu and we have, like I said, bare bones install of Arch. We don't have anything else, which is why we need to access our terminal. And there's our GNOME terminal. Just for shits and giggles, I guess, Pac-Man attack capital S htop because it seems to be a trend I do in every desktop environment install whatever htop's a good program I mean technically I think every distribution comes with top but htop has its magical little graphs that have color anyway so htop and cinnamon runs idle 314 megs it's not bad it's not as low as LXDE or XFCE, which I believe they were both under 200. So it has like a 100 megs difference, which could be, I mean, it, that could mean a lot to a lower end machine. But personally, I just don't like the layout and feel of Cinnamon. That's why I wouldn't choose Cinnamon. I'd actually choose uh, KDE over Cinnamon, which is shocking because I really don't care for KDE. But that's how you install Cinnamon using LXDM, kind of, LXDM as a workaround, I guess. If you guys have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to ask. Either put them down in the comments or send me a message. Either way is perfectly fine. Inbox, comments, doesn't matter. But apart from that, guys, have a good one. See you later.